Okay, so the next thing I did was to go ahead and remove the back screen. Six screws uh, for that. No big deal to that at all. Put the screws again back in their holders that way, or back into their uh, holes, if you will. That way they don't uh, get lost and everything goes back where it's supposed to. So there's a the screen right there. Now, if you notice, I've heard people talk about the spark arrester and that causing problem. That, there's, there's a spark arrester. Um, I have another another one of these, exactly the same thing. I've been using it now for uh, two years. I, I love it. Um, I've taken care of it. I haven't had a, an issue with it. Um, the guy, I, I don't think I mentioned the, the person who owned this, said he ran it for 100 hours. Only had 100 hours on it before he put it away. So, and uh, that was it. Took it back out. Didn't start. So that spark arrester, you can already see stuff blown around it. So obviously that doesn't look great. So we'll take that off and have a look at that, see if that's that's plugged. Um, and uh, move on from there. Uh, while I'm here and um, have the panel off, a mod, uh, people have talked about um, poor airflow. So there's an actual vacuum, and I notice it also. So if you have one of these, and I'm sure you've seen the mod uh, before. If you haven't, then it won't take you very long to quick trip into YouTube to see people putting, you know, holes and stuff in the lid. So, you know, you take the oil fill off right here, you know, and you can, that, that little gets sucked right back on there from the, uh, the draw of air into the, the engine. So what I did was I used a Dremel tool, and you see these... Yeah, it's just a, some decorative um, impressions there on the, the lid. I went to the back and I took this foam off, got that out of the way, or you know, cut a piece of it out of the way, uh, just with scissors. And what I did was I used a Dremel tool and I removed the back of those. I got rid of them. So now they're just holes. So um, after getting them all cleaned up and deburred and whatever, I got filter media. And I attached the filter media to the uh, inside of this, where I, I cut a relief out, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Cut a relief out right on the back side, put the filter media in there, and that that took care of the uh, uh, airflow issue. It uh, uh, air flows, you know, freely in it. There's there's a little bit of a draw on it, but nothing like it it had on it before. And uh, the engine seems to like it. Nice thing about it is it's just tacked in there with um, a um, hot melt glue in the four four corners. I can just pop it off. Um, you got to pull on it a little bit, but it just comes right off. And you know, cut another square and stick it on there with the hot melt glue, and I'm done with it. Uh, I can make a little frame. Uh, it's a little bit more, um, you know. <laughs> maybe proper for it but uh, for right now what I have uh, it's worked just fine so that might be something to consider yep, just knock the back side of those holes out put some filter media back on the other side and uh, put the foam back in place because all this foam helps with uh, sound dampening so you want to keep as much of that in place as possible and I didn't notice really any difference in the noise level after putting that filter media in those those holes doesn't seem to be uh, any change whatsoever all right Moving on.